Calvin College senior Sarah Winkle is a talented athlete, a starter for the women's basketball team, and a co-captain this season with her younger sister Lisa. She's also an excellent student, a perennial member of both the Calvin Dean's List and the MIAA Honor Roll. But 18 months ago, Sarah Winkle received a call that put sports and studies into a new perspective. Her dad, Terry Winkle, had suffered a stroke. The day that I got the phone call was horrible. There's just really nothing that can prepare you for a phone call like that. Um, my mom had called to let me know and she was really scared on the phone. She was crying and I think she was scared because she didn't know what it meant. And on the other hand, I was scared because I did know what it meant and I knew about strokes. Um, but, you know, as the days went on and he stayed in the hospital, I was really thankful that I had knowledge about strokes and just saw that it was going to be an experience where I could learn a lot from and I could also be there to support my family. Winkle knew about strokes because of her recently declared major at Calvin, speech pathology. She'd come to Calvin undecided about what to study, but was impressed by Calvin's state-of-the-art DeVos Communication Center and the top-notch faculty in the department. She decided speech pathology was where God was guiding her. Yet she'd never planned to use what she was learning with a family member. Calvin speech pathology professor Jill Bates says Winkle's real-world experience with her dad was a formative experience. I love it when my students have an opportunity to put the knowledge that they're getting in class into real practice. I mean, they really get it then. That light bulb goes on, and I bring many of my clients from my practice into Calvin, but when you have a student who has an actual family member, loved one, that makes it real. And that's what my job here at Calvin is all about, is making the profession of speech pathology real and firing them up to become speech pathologists, but she already was fired up because of her dad. Sarah's sister, Lisa, an all MIAA forward for the Knights, says what her sister did with their father has been both comforting and inspiring. I know when my dad had his stroke, it was a very tough time for our whole family, but one thing that was nice was Sarah being in the speech pathology field. Watching Sarah work with him and just hearing stories about his progress from her own firsthand experience, I mean, it gives you a lot more confidence and just reassurance that the right steps are being taken. Calvin women's basketball coach John Ross, now in his third season, as another person who has watched Sarah Winkle in wonder the past year and a half. Well, last year was a you know real interesting year for Sarah. Not only did she have to balance you know varsity athletics, which is new for her, she was also an RA in her dorm and to help her father and to keep building on her faith too. And you know she was always able to maintain perspective on everything and balance enough time. And um, Sarah never crumbled in any of that and just went out every day and gave her best to, to everything that she had. And she didn't have a lot of free time. Um, last year, but she did everything you know, per, you know, as, as well as an individual could do. The good news? Today, Terry Winkle is back to full health and back to work as a teacher at Crestwood Middle School in Kentwood. He's also back with his wife Luann at Calvin Basketball Games, cheering on his two daughters. Looking back on the past 18 months, he says it's been an amazing journey, one on which he learned a lot about what's important in life. As I was lying there in the hospital bed and uh, and I said, well, I didn't know what was going to happen. And I uh, said, well, this could be it. And as I looked at my four kids and my wife standing there by my bedside, uh, I said, well, what greater legacy could I have? And uh, thank you, Lord. And uh, the kids were, I was kind of out of it. But my kids were very, very supportive of my wife. And... Uh, she had her hands full for a while and our community and our church and uh, we were just embraced and uh, what a blessing this whole thing you know has been it's been it's been usually much easier for us to be the helpers than the helped I think that's probably true for each and most people but uh, it certainly gave us an experience where we were going to be on the receiving end for her part Sarah Winkle says the experience was one that taught her a lot and put a lot of things in her life into perspective, including the importance of faith and the power of prayer. I don't think that I could have made it through the past year and a half um, 
without the support of the Calvin community and just knowing that God was our strength to make it through this time, my family felt supported by the power of prayer. Um, we had people from the Calvin community and people from our church um, praying for us, writing us notes, making us meals, and just taking care of us when we couldn't always take care of ourselves. And it's just been amazing to be part of that.